Jeff Driver, General Manager of Australian Foundation Investment Company. I have with me today Ross Barker, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, and Mark Freeman, the Chief Investment Officer. We've just been doing our regular shareholder meetings around major capital cities, meeting up with over a thousand shareholders during that period. These are some of the questions that came up regularly through those meetings. Ross, uh, AFIX investment performance over the 12 months to 30 September was slightly below the market. Have you got some reasons why this has occurred and what sort of some of the historical issues are around that underperformance? We've seen quite an interesting market which is very much being priced for very low interest rates and also with the large with the with the headwinds for the large end of town, some of those companies haven't performed as well as as the small and mid part, mid sectors of the market. So, with uh, as we as we looked into this issue to find out what what was behind that, there were probably three components to to our performance in the last year that that are reflected in the numbers. One of them is that we've been uh, we haven't been an investor in gambling stocks, and that's something that we've been saying to our shareholders over quite a few years, it's been our policy not to invest in the gambling sector, primarily because our view is that this is an industry that does cause harm to some, some people and we would rather not put our funds in that industry. Uh, ne however, we do invest in companies like Coles and Woolworths where it's not a major part of their operation, but nevertheless, as a, for companies that are wholly invested in gambling, we just don't think that's a place to invest. We've been underinvested in the gold sector, and again, this is a, a decision we've made over the years because we find that gold is fairly unpredictable, and we're not, we don't think that we have the expertise to judge where the gold price is going to go from year to year, and even certainly not over the medium to long term. So that's been another part of the market we, we don't invest in. The third area is property trusts, and this is an interesting area. It's got quite a variety of different companies that are there. Our investment in property trusts has tended to be through the trusts that have exposure to retail shopping malls, those sorts of things. Assets that are hard to replicate and in a sense unique. We've tended not to invest in the general um, industrial parks or office buildings, those sort of trusts. And our logic for that is really that over the long term, those property trusts have not outperformed the industrial parts of the market. But in the last year or so, with interest rates extremely low, investors have been parking their funds in that part of the market, and it isn't one that we're particularly overweight. Mark, we uh, got asked about a number of companies uh, within the portfolio and some of the companies across the market, but Woolworths was one that came out regularly. Any views on that particular on that particular company in that sector? As we've been going around Australia doing our shareholder briefings, we've had a lot of questions from our investors around Woolworths. Um, we often get a lot of questions around stocks that uh, have performed or underperformed over recent periods, always been one of those. Uh, thinking there was that we did actually lighten a bit of stock going back a few years. Uh, we did some analysis on the industry and we were getting concerned about the uh, margins that Woolworths were earning. We thought they were unsustainable and too high and what that was resulting in was an opportunity for Aldi to come in and grow their business and take share. They're happy to take lower margins and make a good returns because they're a very uh, low cost business. Uh, we've also seen Costco come into the market and they're looking to grow their, uh, their centres as well. So the industry is becoming more competitive. So effectively, uh, Woolworths running high margins has allowed the industry structure to change uh, permanently, is our view, where you've now got a much more competitive market um, with, with the Eldin Costco companies in there. So what does it mean going forward? I, I think Woolworths do have room to recover and improve their business. I think they did take the eye off the ball. They still have great supermarket assets and I still think there is the opportunity to, to run those better. But a uh, lot longer term it is going to be a challenging industry. Um, I think Aldi are pretty keen to keep um, a price discount against the likes of Coles and Woolworths. So even though Woolworths might do better. I think long term it's going to be a, a, a you know, pretty competitive industry to be in and we're certainly not expecting significant profit growth out of that sector over the long term. Mm -hmm.